So, tell me how this all started for you. Well, I went to go visit my grandfather at the hospital. And the doctors had given him a few days at most to live. I was the only one there because my mom was held up at work, so she couldn't come. And I was just sitting there. I mean, I didn't really know what to say. It was, it was his deathbed. I mean, what do you say to that? So I was just sitting there, and then all of a sudden, wham! He just throws a pillow at me and hits me in the face with one of the, you know, those generic hospital pillows. And then all of a sudden, we just keep going at it, and he's laughing, and I'm laughing, and he's stronger than he's ever been in weeks. And, and then his heart stops. Yeah, it, it got to be weird, like really weird. Like, I couldn't even say I'm stressed out for midterms without, without Charlie coming up to me and trying to hit me in the face with a pillow. Some people would say that a man is crazy to hit and aware people with his pillows in public. But perhaps a man is crazy not to hit people who are unaware of his pillows in public. When you think about it, is there really anything that better captures the joys and tragedies of life than a pillow fight? What's my name? What's my station? Oh, just tell me what <laughs> I don't need to be kind to the armies of life that would do such injustice to you or bow down and be grateful and say to the men who move on me in dimly lit halls and determine my future for me and I don't That would be a good person. She's got high heels. People always ask me, Charlie, why are you hitting me in the face with a pillow? Why do you keep doing that to me, Charlie? Uh, you know what I tell them? My response is this. I hit them in the face. With the pillow. Something. 